done. So I figured this is the perfect time to do this. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm sorry I left without saying goodbye. I'll explain myself later. Right now, it's not about goodbyes, it's about hellos. So hello, hi, hello, bonjour. So hello, hello to old friends, hello to new and current friends, hello to my work friends, hello to relatives and family, hello to my OG faux fam, if you're still out there, I've missed you all. If you guys weren't here the first time, let's do this one again. Whether you know me, or you knew me, or you're from YouTube future rolling back to get to know me, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Brian. That's me. Hi. I'm a husband, father, and pup dad. There was a time I was a daily vlogger living in Vietnam. Good morning. Good 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 morning. Good morning. Good good morning. Good morning, everybody, or whatever time it is for you. One video a day for 365 days. Before that, I worked on major commercial film sets like Lexus and Samsung. We're getting water directly from the lake. I produced local television ads. I wanted to thank you for the camera. How did you think of that? Well, love you guys. See you soon. The Canon Rebel T4i, available at Broadway. And Camera. I have a passion for wedding cinematography. Since I was a baby, I've always had a love for food. It started when I would sit on a stool across the counter and be my mom's personal little taste tester. I grew up in restaurants, both back of house and front of house. I grew up loving this food and travel show called Travel Travel. For most visitors to welcome, welcome to my world. Like many of you, I fell in love with Anthony Bourdain. His show and his books made me very curious about visiting the homeland. Anthony Bourdain sent me on my first trip to Vietnam. Rest in peace to a legend. The second time I went back was with a girl. We are in Hue, Vietnam. Say hi, babe. Hi. It was even more amazing the second time. We connected on so many levels while discovering so much awesome food. We talked about how cool it would be to maybe one day live there. Back in Canada, we kept dreaming about our dreams. We got married. And you may kiss the bride. <laughs> had our baby. You can do that, because I can still have my hand. Sold all our belongings, packed four suitcases, moved to Vietnam. And started a daily vlog about our life and food adventures. You guys want to talk about hole in the wall? You see me walking in right here. Literally, back alley, someone's house. We did that all in the same year too, as first time parents. Legendary or crazy? You decide. A little bit of both. Then it was time to come home. We decided we wanted to see what it'd be like to live in Montreal. Look at these cars. <laughs> it's cold. And if you're a faux fan member, this is where we left off. I tried to keep the channel going, but it just wasn't generating enough income for us at the time. So I thought, we can get back to this point. I went back to working in the restaurant industry so we could afford to buy all the things we needed fast. Beds, kitchen table, chairs, literally everything. I vowed to get back to creating videos once we had our feet set. Then YouTube did that thing where they shut down all the comment sections for all the channels with minors in them. And I felt like, without the community, is there even a channel? It was a devastating loss. To be young and in love in New York City To not know who I am but still know that I'm good long as you're here I fell into the grind that we all fall into, just working whatever job it may be, providing a really nice and comfortable life for yourself and your family. My passion for creating, slowly fading as we amassed more and more comfort. And then, the pandemic hit. Tough times for everyone. Money stress, relationship stress. Not gonna lie, we thought we were gonna divorce a couple times. But we knew we actually loved and cared for each other, so we fought for us and seeked couples therapy. Therapy opened new thoughts and views on life, communication, emotional intelligence, and raising a little human. 
I'm happy to say our relationship is at an all-time high right now. Transcendent type levels. I also realized that I suffer from anxiety and depression. Most likely my whole life, but just the way I grew up back in the day and the fact that it was back in the day, there wasn't much awareness about these topics at the time. I literally just figured this out now. I'm 41 years old writing this. The pandemic also made me realize that this life is short and can turn on you in a second. I need to get back to doing what I love, what makes me, me. I'm at my highest self when I'm free to create and tell stories about food and life. Food and life is such a beautiful thing, don't you think? <laughs> I want to show my daughter that anything is possible. Show her that she can do anything. I want to show everyone watching. Anything's possible. Anything's possible. I want to be live proof for everyone watching. Witness for your eyes only. You manifest your life. I was never told you could be anything you wanted growing up. I come from the classic Asian upbringing that was brought up to believe if you didn't become a doctor, lawyer, or a dentist, you were a failure. A funny joke and meme in pop culture, but it has lasting generational effects on people. I'm dealing with it. But the important thing is, I know now. You can be anything. You manifest your life. Stephen R. Covey says that all things are created twice. There's a mental creation first in the mind, and then a second physical, actual creation. I have the rest of my life visualized and conceptualized clearly now. This channel, these videos, these stories, this is the first step in that creation. So welcome or welcome back. This season on Full Your Eyes Only, I invite you to witness firsthand what happens when someone realizes they can manifest their dream life out of nothing. Are you with me? Next time on For Your Eyes Only. So what is this dream life I picture? The most important thing is freedom of time. Financial freedom. I want to uplift and inspire a generation. That's going to be my life.